Welcome to Money Solves, where if I can't solve your business problem, I'll give you a hundred bucks. Today, we're talking to Marina King from the Cushion Accessory Company. Let's go see what her problem is, shall we? So Marina's not new in business. In fact, she's had years of business experience, mostly in a service-based business. Now, she's tackling an online store. I had a look at the website this morning and I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. Honestly, it's so good. So yes, my strength, my little party trick is creating things to look really beautiful, like the website, because that's my background. I'm an interior designer and stylist. So for me, doing the photo shoots, putting it all together, making it all look really beautiful, that is my party trick and creating the content. But in terms of now getting it into front of people. So I've always had a service-based business, which I found easy to do, whereas this is my first product-based business. And obviously it's very, very different. And using Shopify, I'll get there, but it will take time. And I'm very impatient. That is my weakness. So I'll take absolutely anything and everything that you will throw my way. Tell me what you're doing currently to get more people through to your website. What are you doing? Well, this is it. Not much. Uh Aha. So... I've actually just got on board an agent in Brisbane who is now taking over my products from a wholesale point of view. So I've taken all the samples there yesterday and he will be selling my products to interior designer, stylists, property stylists and home decor shops. My product is very tactile, kind of touch it, feel it, you know, look at the quality. So whenever I've done something, like I had a pop-up shop in the Sunshine Plaza in December and people loved it because when they touched it and they felt it, they're like, oh my goodness, loved it. But just on the website, it just doesn't feel like it does it justice. So so besides the agent, I had somebody from London contacting me who she's an interior designer. She has got her own platform, online platform, retail platform, and she only selects certain brands that she feels is a bit more unique and different and beautiful. And so she's contacted me and um, she wants to host my products on her website, which is nice because that goes international market. And then I am working with a lady in Sydney, Naomi Finlay, So she's got a big following. So she originally started the Property Staging Association of Australia. She has got a big following with people. She does a lot of DIY projects. She is really, really good at this stuff. She does courses and classes and everything. She has renovated a beautiful house. So doing a collaboration with her. So my stuff is at her place now. They haven't taken photos yet. Um, So she's going to promote my cushions to her database and then hoping to get some additional photos from her as well so that's more from a from an influencer point of view Mm -hmm. and then I have been doing quite a bit on social media but I've dropped the ball a little bit the last couple of months just because of some personal reasons but now that I've got a couple of things that's happening in the background I need to now just get in more in front of people so I guess my biggest challenge that I have been facing is because the cushion accessory company is a very unique business in the world so you get cushions with beautiful embellishments on it but it's sewn on it so you can't take it off where mine is all about taking it off or reviving that old cushion in the cupboard which we've all got and we bored with it now so you can take the cushion accessory and attach it to that cushion and give it new life right Mm -hmm. so for me it's all about sustainability it's about not just sending cushions um, into landfall so it's just styling more responsibly if you can call it that So to get that in front of people, the concept of a cushion accessory, because there's nothing to measure it again, because there's nothing like it out there. So for me, that whole educational process has been quite challenging because in my head, and I've been working with it now for so long and developing the concept that I know it's like little brooch pins almost. You just stick it on, put your hand in and put the little cap on and it stays there. And then when it's ready to wash the cushion, you take it off, you wash it. So it never gets ruined where a lot of cushions with tassels and all the stuff on you can't wash it. So it's getting that in front of people to say, 
yes, you're buying a cushion and it isn't a Kmart price, definitely not. But my inserts are really beautiful feather inserts. So I've never skimped on quality, but it's getting the message across exactly what it is. That's also quite challenging and building up the brand, of course, because it is a tough industry out there. Fantastic. All right. So a couple of questions for you. Talk to me about who your target market is. So I've got two target audiences, but the one is the end client and the other one is um, the designer or retailer, but I'm not going to focus on that for now. So for me really is the end client, a person like yourself, somebody that wants to make their house beautiful, that is house proud and that want to make improvements in their house from a styling point of view. So homeowners, it doesn't have to be homeowner, they can also rent properties, but just people that love making their homes beautiful. Okay. What more do you know about those people than that? In terms of income bracket, it's probably mid to high. I would say age group 40 to 60, anything younger than 40, maybe 45 and from interior styling experience is people with little kids do not spend that much money on their home decor because kids just ruin it, right? So if I have to give you a hard and fast number, maybe, probably, yeah, I still would go 40 to 60, even 65, because a lot of my best clients are actually between 60 and 65, 55, 65, yeah. Okay. What else do you know about them? They are probably in careers which are, this is what I always find very difficult because if if I take back from in terms of clientele, it it just varies. So I I can never understand when they say, what kind of career are they in? They're in any career, really, that has incomes mid to higher range. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I guess that's about it. What else is there? Tell me. Here's what I come across very often when I'm doing these. People do not know their target market well enough. Mm -hmm. So a perfect example of this is let's say that you sell hockey sticks. Yeah. If you advertise to a football crowd. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So what I find with a lot of people is that they're not totally clear on who their target market is. Most people say to me, oh, they're between 40 and 60 and they earn this much money. (laughs) But who are they? Where are they? What do they do? What do they love? Where do they spend their spare time? What are they seeing online? What shows do they like? The, The more detail you can get on their target market, the easier it is going to be able to really hone your marketing in. Yeah. Okay. In terms of, so there are definitely people that likes DIY. So instead of getting an interior designer or stylist, so like to do their own home decor and styling, people that watch shows like The Block, follow Shana Blaze, follow the home decor magazines, you know, your Adairs, your bath table and bed so that's probably when they go shopping those are the places that they hang out a long list of different influencers in the industry that that they would follow there's a lot of reality shows that's got to do with but and I think in Australia especially people are quite inspired we've got so many home decor shows and stuff so they kind of want to do their Mm -hmm. own thing and I think it's also people that love entertaining because when your house is beautiful you want people to come around to your place and you feel proud of your home so if you are that person people that are successful they want to get people over to their house and when they do they want to feel that it needs to kind of convey their achievements in life so if you feel like you have accomplished a lot of your life and um, you're getting people over and you're proud of what you've done. If your home is, and I'm generalizing here, if your house is very messy and everything, you're just not going to feel that same pride as -hmm. into when it is actually really beautiful and neat and tidy and you can invite people over and you're the hostess with the mostess. Okay. So 
this is how far and how deep you need to drill down on working out your target market. You're starting to hit the mark now because when you do your social media advertising, you need to be going to where they are. I'm not sure your people would be on TikTok, for example. No, no. So if you were advertising on TikTok, you would be wasting your dollars. I, I would suggest your people probably Facebook, probably Instagram. And even and Pinterest, the, though. And Pinterest. Yeah, I was going to go Pinterest as well. So this is where you would need to be targeting your social media and also probably paid ads as well. You talked earlier about how your cushions are different, how you can't wash things with tassels and things like that. Creating small videos showing mm, yeah. why your cushions are unique, what's good about your cushions, that kind yeah, of thing. I've done so, a couple of those before, yes. Great. Okay, good. That's a good start. So putting those out as even advertisements on Facebook to the right audiences, making sure that your targeting is absolutely spot on for those is going to start helping you raise the awareness of your cushions and why your cushions are superior to other types of cushions, which is mm. where you really want to go. You want to position yourself as the cushion queen, basically. Okay. <laughs> so these are the now you're talking. Things. Yeah, exactly. So these are the kind of things you need to be looking at. You need to be really drilling down on your target market. I have a training available. It's very intense but it gets you to the absolute bottom of your target market with Mm. absolutely no doubt on exactly what you need to do to reach that. So I'm happy to share that with you. Okay, that's part of the Vault, which is my online program. It's one of eight courses we have currently available on that. Uh, And the membership for that is $7 for the first 30 days and then $47 a month from there. We are adding new courses each and every week to that. Wow. Um, yeah, so great value. So I'm prepared to do that as you come as a guest. I will happily give you access to that course. I would highly recommend that you suck it up and you do it. It's not the easiest thing. You do have to work, but the results you will get at the end of that will be absolutely incredible. And that will start you on a clear path of who, what, where, when, and why mm. you need to advertise your cushions because. There's no point just throwing spaghetti at the wall. You may as well take a little bit of time and make sure that you get it absolutely on point. Would you agree with that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, awesome. And then once you do that, you need to start looking at ways to bring people to your site, whether that be through social media, paid advertising. Mm -hmm. You'd want to do some Googling on what's out there already have a look at some of your competitors marnie knows ways of getting in the back end of facebook to look at competitors ads if you need help there it's all legal just the know-how do you know what i mean of how to get in there i can help you with that to start looking at these kinds of things and start really working out exactly what they're doing and what's working for them one of the biggest things that i i said is that success leaves clues just like i was showing you earlier Here I have a lady with 800,000 businesswomen, and that's the Women Helping Women Network, who's messaging me personally, helping me to make my posts go viral. Leaves clues. Do you see what I mean? So she's Mm. extremely successful because she's done all of the trial and error, just like I have it for many years as well, and I know the importance of making sure that you really drill down on your target market because only then can you make the decisions on where you're going to point your arrow. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And has definitely. that helped, helped you? Has it added some value for you today? Yeah, definitely. It's always good to bounce ideas off when you're a small business owner. It gets quite isolated. So it's always good to just go, yes, am I doing the right thing? And yeah, definitely. Thank you. It's so important that you really hone in on exactly who, what, where, when, and why your target market is. That way, when you're doing your marketing, you will know that you're shooting your arrow directly to the target. So there you go. Marina's problem is solved and I get to keep my hundred bucks. If you've got a business problem that you think I can't solve, then send us a message and let's see if you can take my hundred dollars.